Now you know how to add blocks and how to add bricks to our web page. Let's see how we can change some of the basic options. Select any of the elements. And here in the sidebar inspector, we have some different options for each of the elements. You can select the block here in the canvas or using the layer tree. And same as the bricks in the sidebar, we will have some of the options. We can change the color for the block. We can change the size, the amount of space we have. We can even set the image background here using this option. We can add some basic style options to improve the appearance of this block. Align some of the elements we have here. We can enable the parallax effect for the image background. And change some other options we have here in the sidebar. And the same can be done with any of the bricks we have on our web page. Select any of the brick you want to change and you will see the appearance settings here. For example, if we click on the image brick, we will have some of the sizing options for width and height. And it goes the same for all of the bricks we have. As I showed you in the previous videos, we can use the layer tree in the left sidebar to navigate between the elements we have. We can rearrange them and we can drag and drop elements back and forth and make the structure for the website we want. Let's say we want to add a contact form to our page. To do that, we can just add the form brick here. We can select any of the elements inside to change the appearance and settings and then we can select the form to set all of the emails and messages we need for this form. So this is the basics for the visual design workflow we have in Blocks and in the next videos I will show you how we can further customize and make our website look unique.